Report from Tiger Mountain Part 2 with David Thrussell up here, beyond the Ring of Steel, under closed location, in a mystery <laughs> part of the Northern Victoria, apparently. Where, where are we? Very mysterious. <laughs> So, um, let's talk about this new censorship before we get on to COVID. Um, obviously, Parla... Uh, Hang on, we were going to talk about it, but I'm afraid we can't. We can't, that's right. <laughs> Sorry. We just got a call from Mark Zuckerberg <laughs> and Jack Dorsey. They said, look, guys, uh, best you don't, because, you know, it's going to be on our platforms. And, yeah. I don't Sorry. So, the yeah. best thing about censorship is... Cut! <laughs> Only kidding. Report for Tiger Mountain. <laughs> Okay, so here we are back, and um, okay, we're going to talk about censorship before I made our little joke that we can't talk about it. I guess for the moment we can, um, so talk about it. Um, what do you think? Well, what do you think of the well, ban from Twitter and the uh, closing down of Parler? It's extraordinary. We're living yeah. in an extraordinary era. I Did you get on any of those for me? No, but um, I, I'm totally... You're not even on Facebook, no, are you? No, I, I, I'm suspicious of the whole damn thing. Yeah. Um, You're not on Twitter? No, no, Not no, interested? No, no, not interested. I, I'm suspicious... You just have your own website. Yeah, 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 I'm suspicious of the whole damn thing. I, I do think that we've been... To, to look at it in a, a larger structure, I do think we've been corralled onto these online platforms, onto these digital yeah. platforms. And they don't want and they don't want the opposition, you know, and it's well, because they're completely controllable. That's yes, the trap. They don't been trapped. The weird thing about Facebook is is you think, oh Facebook's good with MySpace. We're all, all on MySpace to begin with. And yes. that was kind of fun, right? Yeah. And then Facebook came along which seemed to be an improvement and then we all went over but I, I thought that would keep happening. But no, Facebook is where everyone's meant to stay. Yeah. Because they have they have, you know, like Mines and Parler and Gab. I mean I've got an account on Gab now. Um, Gab seems to be okay, and they tried to deplatform Gab actually, and you know, go to their servers. Yeah. But Gab own their own servers. I think the whole thing's a trap. Yeah. Okay. I, I, I'm going to roll back it slightly here. Yep. Forgive me, but you obviously you and, and viewers probably would have heard of uh, this um, program called MK Ultra in yeah, the fifties yeah. and sixties and whatnot. This mind control. Yeah, mind uh, control program. Right. We've heard the colourful, lurid tales of drug experiments and hypnosis yep. and assassinations. We've heard all this colourful stuff. Okay. I suspect the, the thing that we have never really heard about, the, the prime product of MKUltra, I suspect, is the internet. Okay? Of course, yeah. You know, I mean, it comes out of DARPA, they've admitted yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the wing of the Pentagon. In the, it's yep. in the same era yep. as they were doing all that sort of so stuff. So you see the whole internet is a poison. Absolutely. You've got a more Unibomber uh, uh, kind of It's me and, it's me and Ted over here, you know. <laughs> Except you're without the bombs. <laughs> yeah, 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 you know. We just want to make that clear. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, <laughs> Uh, I do, I see the whole thing. But you have trap. his worldview. You're very anti technology. I am, I am. I think it's a trap, you know, and I do think, I, I suspect yep. that the internet has been deliberately developed through MKUltra. It's just a theory, but yep. I noticed that, you know, we've been given all these distractions around yes. MKUltra. Yep. And yet it's the same time frame, it's the same people mm -hmm. who developed it. It's got the same end result, which is yep. mind control, which is crowd control. This is true, but it, it, is, it is unusual that the President of the United States has been kicked off Twitter. You got to admit. Yes and no. Yeah. I mean, if the game plan is ultimate digital control of opinion, conversation, ideology, politics, etc., etc., it's not that surprising, yeah. really. Yeah. Actually, mm -hmm. you know, and I think it's heinous in the in the in the short-sighted way. I think it's 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 a terrible thing. It's, yep. it's a terrible, extraordinary era that we mm -hmm. can live in. That the that can happen. The the president of the free world, quote unquote, many quotes with inside yeah. many quotes, yeah. Yeah. Uh, can be. Uh, removed from the conversation yeah. is extraordinary. As I said, and it, the, show, well, it shows you where the power lies. It, it, the and the power. president of Mexico spoke out in favour of Trump, which is of course slightly amusing because apparently Ironic. Trump was meant. But yeah. another person who spoke out in favour of Trump, and and they said that it was very worrying that he was was Angela Merkel, who has left this week. He's left power this week. You know? Wheels within wheels. You know, There's something a lot strange going is going on. on. Did you hear that there were ten on. priests and got died within the last week from COVID I did. apparently? I did. They did. There's a whole bunch right. of weird priests there. The wheels within wheels. I know, it's strange, isn't there it? There are many, many things Maybe it's an element of the obviously. cabal shutting itself down because the new one's opening up. It's hard to tell. Um, I guess let's get on to the, the COVID crisis because as you were making the joke before... It's... Well, no, I think there's more to be said about this censorship thing, okay, actually. Okay. I think there's a lot more to be said about it. I think we've been herded onto these digital platforms and now they're being shut down. A, a friend of mine the other day made a great analogy. He said... The fences have been built yes. around the cattle. Mm -hmm. The cattle didn't notice, yep. and now the fences have been turned on, yep. and they're electrified, yep. and we're trapped. Yep. You know? Because basically, 
there's not much conversation really that happens outside of these digital platforms. No. And those digital platforms are completely controllable. The internet's completely controllable. Mm. Things vanish constantly off the internet. They do all the time. You know, all yeah. the time. Yeah. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a pale shadow of what it was 20 years well, ago. Well, I was gonna say you know? something. I mean, you know, I have a friend in India, I won't say who she is, but she's a, she's a yoga teacher. She's, she's far left, right? But you know how there's this worry in relation to Bill Gates? And, and she said to me, um, that Bill Gates um, was involved in a polio vaccine that crippled half a million Indian yes. children. Yeah. And then when she told me that, I looked it up and of course there were actual sites saying, fact checking that. So that's not true, that's a lie. Yeah. So there's all the US, you know, all the normal, normal, there's yeah. about 50 fact checkers. Control. Over. But I found one article it was from the India Times where it said there had been problems with the polio vaccine that had caused crippling and that the Indian government had asked the Bill and Melinda Gates to kind of quietly leave yes and that this someone else had done it someone there was another video online i saw where someone really researched that what because it was in the indian parliament they can't and there are records of that so sure. this actually happened but it's been purged as much as they can purge as much yeah but it's, yeah. Quite, it's quite i mean it's extraordinary. robert robert uh, kennedy jr has talked about this he, bit, exactly he's another know, one yeah and he's a hard guy to silence but yeah. i'm sure they will try they did all right with his father they, they? they did didn't they it's um, the very same people too isn't it I suspect, with JFK, RFK? Uh, I suspect it's the, it's the, the same, same cabal, ladies institutions and the same yeah. people, yes. It, it, it smells very similar, you know? It does. And you can see the same strategies involved, actually. This yep. swirl of disinformation. Yep. This is how you know that we're in the middle of some kind of intelligence operation because there are these counter currents of disinformation flying mm -hmm. everywhere and they're tailored to demographics, mm -hmm. you know? So, I mean, for example, yourself, right? You're, yep. you're a self-identified pro-Trump guy, okay? Yep. There'll be disinformation. The algorithms will be hurling disinformation course, at you yeah, yeah, yeah. to lead you off, well, that the, was, off the plantation into various what's the thing, rabbit warrens. That's one of the reasons I became of suspicious of, 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 of the Q thing. Because I remember that guy, William Barr, the, the, he was the kind of... Um, the Attorney General. The Attorney General. Right. He was like always used as a figure by Q that he was going to come and arrest everybody and everything. But then you know, when the moment came in relation to the election, he said, oh, there's no vote rigging. They can't see anything. There's a problem there. Yeah. And then clearly... Bar was a deep state plant, and you can see Trump turned on him. He sacked him about a sure. month ago. Yeah. So there you go. It's it's, yeah. it's really quite extraordinary. Oh, look, Q is interesting. Yeah. Q is very interesting. I, I my gut feeling has always been that it's some sort of military intelligence operation. Yeah, it would have to be. You know, you hope it would have to be if okay? it's true. Yeah. As to which side or which angle, mm. I wasn't exactly sure. You mm. know, at the moment. My feeling is it was either a total disinformation campaign just yep. meant to distract, yep. uh, you know. Yep. From the wheelie, uh, what's going on. Exactly. Mm. Or possibly it was a sort of morale-boosting campaign uh, from the, the Trump side, yeah. you know. Yeah. I, I, mean, I thought that too, in the sense that, like, people have said, oh, it's, 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 it's not true, and that might have been the case, but it could be true. Because you can be sure everybody in the Pentagon and everybody in the in, in NSA, who might be loyal to America... You know, they're, they're obviously, you know, when you talk about the cabal and the deeds, it's not everybody in the FBI, it's not everybody in the CIA, sure. it's not everybody in the Pentagon. It's got to be large groups of people who are actually maybe a bit upset what's going on. So maybe the hope was that this was some kind of counter um, reaction or a reactionary. Um, and that, you, know. and that you, can, you can think that that's, that's, that's possible. Yeah. I mean, the one, I think the one thing that you shouldn't lose sight of is the endemic absolute corruption in our institutions no it is it's shocking yeah. you know yeah. it, it, the, it's destroying the, media, the world it's destroying the oh, world oh and you know and it, it, you know the, the, yeah. the media is leading the charge in that yeah. area yeah. you know they've, they've got their head in the sand they have they are absolute collaborators yeah, yeah, yeah. they are they are absolutely treasonous they're yep. traitors what's With, going on with covid mate what the fuck is going well, on well I think it's, a, yet again, I think it's, again, it smells like an intelligence operation. There are cross currents of disinformation it's flying been smelling everywhere. Like, it's been smelling like an, an intelligence operation for, for a, a year long now. Time. I mean, it's, it, for a it, long it, time. It started over a year now. I mean, yes. around this time, you began, you began to hear articles that there was something going Precisely. on. Precisely. Yeah. This stuff from China that yeah. we were seeing on social yeah. media, people yeah. sending me this stuff. And who you know? put out a statement, oh, it's not dangerous, thanks. You know, I mean, this so, is ridiculous. Let's, let's just go back for a second yeah. and think about that footage that we yeah. saw out of China originally yeah. from Wuhan, okay? Yeah. Yeah. Let's let's analyse that footage yeah. right now. People were dropping dead in the street. People dropping dead in the street. That was bullshit. Corpses in the streets that people were walking over the top of. That was crap. And enormous trucks spraying plumes of disinfectants yeah. Yeah, over, yeah. And over people in hazmat large suits. Streets. Yeah. Exactly. So that look never at happened that footage anywhere. now. Yeah. That's lies. Total bullshit. Yeah. The whole thing was an absolute 
fraud. Psyop, yeah. Yeah, absolute psyop. Look at that footage now. Yeah. Go back and look at it if you can find it. It's yeah. probably gone. Yeah, some you of know? it's around, yeah, yeah. But yeah, it was okay. bullshit, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then I mean that's but look, it seems it's right to there. be it's staring you in the face. This is a psyop. This yeah. is a psyop. True. Get afraid. Yep, yep. Get ready for yep, what's yep. coming. Get ready for martial law, basically for martial law. Well, it's here already. You know? It's but, here. But it seems to be I mean, my impression of it is that it was gonna be something to defeat Trump, which they've already done now, you know, I mean, as long as everything goes to plan this uh, this Wednesday with the cabal, but like, it seems to be almost oh, like a war, there's much more to it, there's it seems to be more to like a war on terror thing, that like, remember after September 11, everything changed, like, yeah. it was like, you know, we had to fear and Muslims, and there is no going back, and you always spoke, you all, and this is one thing I have to give you credit for too, and I've actually come around to that opinion, obviously there is an element of the Islamic community where um, radical terrorism exists, and there's no doubt about that, even the Muslim community knows that. But you've always been, oh, the, the, most of the community's fine, and I've come around to that, to that perspective more. Oh, they were more. weaponized. Yeah, they they were been weaponized. weaponized. We were you know? told to fear Muslims and, and, and Islam, right? That was as like a fear agenda. And now, I mean, with, with COVID, we have to fear everybody. I mean, technically, yeah. I came up from Melbourne today. Yeah. There's a case or two yeah. near a quarantine. Maybe I've infected everybody here, you know? I mean, I know I haven't, but you know what I mean? Like. It's, it's about the fear of everybody. So it's 9-11 times a thousand. It's something like thing. that, isn't you know, it? It really is. And, and it's not going And away. your analysis is, is very good, I think. Yeah, after 9-11, you were supposed to be afraid of Muslims. Yep. I never believed a word of it. Mm, now, you as, you, as you rightly point out, you've I been into afraid it for a while. Of, sure. You know, I mean, that, you know, you were the target. Yeah, you were yeah. all the target. I'm the thing. target audience, a right winger. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, as am I, I in different ways. I've got to admit it. We're all targeted by disinformation. But it's always this elite bastards, isn't it? It's never any of these people. We aren't the problem. Muslims aren't the problem. I know it's you a know, cliche. The Chinese divide people and rule. aren't the problem. Divide it's and always, rule. Exactly. It's always that's just elite it. bastards. It's, that's it. Right? Divide and rule. That's the sentence you Every should never forget. Every single time, mate. That's it. Divide and rule. That is the plan. And they're doing it on us. And they're doing it on us right now. Mm. So... Really, Any predictions for for this year for 2021? I mean, what do you think? I mean, well, I hope I'm I hope I'm wrong. Okay, yeah. I really sincerely, I think it's going to get much worse. You know, so I they're think, heading in. Yeah. I think winter this winter mm -hmm. in Melbourne it will be unbelievable. Yeah, yeah. you know, it'll be severe lockdowns, severe lockdowns that yeah. you cannot imagine right Remember. now. You know, Maybe I'm cut there's, the a, there's a there's a there's an obvious room? plan. There's a, there's an obvious plan going on. You know, and yeah. it's become screamingly obvious. Yes, yes. You know, I mean, even look, they're a very moderate. Uh, medical uh, professionals and medical experts, some of them very well known, yeah. who are calling out this whole thing of as a sham. Yeah, but of course, the media doesn't touch them. Though. They're banned everywhere. It's They're absolutely everywhere. That, that media thing. I mean, we, we touched on it in the previous video with censorship, but it's absolutely extraordinary the media complicity to all this. Um, it's almost oh, it's like genius. Genius. I mean, you know, I mean, <clears throat> you know, something like the ABC. At least four corners, or even like say sixty minutes on Channel 9, and I guess occasionally they do fly against the, the wind a little occasionally, but very rarely these days. Just I mean, to four establish corners. some bona fides, I think. I exactly, mean, I don't, yeah. I, none of it's genuine, none of it's genuine. It's unbelievable. Well, look, look, there, there are ways to explain this, I think, in a very rational way. I think there is a very small group that has a lot of power, yep. you know, but also there's a vast... And a lot of money, and, to be honest. An endless supply of money, I suspect. Yep. But also there's a very last, uh, large, uh, strata of humanity yep. that just wants the paycheck. They just want to keep their head down. You know, I know people in this strata, and yep. you would know them as well, and the audience would know them as well. Yep. I know plenty of people who suspect that something's off about oh, this. We all thing. know that. I mean, you, you have know? to be stupid. But they're not saying anything. Out. They won't yeah. say anything. No, they won't that, leave yeah. the reservation mm. because they want to keep their head down, yeah. they want to get the paycheck, yeah. and they want to be last. It's like if those, they're coming for you, yeah. they want to be last. Those comedy videos by JPC, is, we've watched those. Sure. They're very funny and spot on, I think. Yeah. But like um, the vaccine, you know, uh, obviously, uh, um, you know, I'm not particularly into it, but like if I want to go overseas, then we're going to have to have. It looks like we, we might have to take one. What's this? What do you Well, to? this is interesting, isn't it? Because this all this stuff is clearly, clearly black and white against the UN Convention on Human Rights, for example. It is. All this coercion, medical coercion, yeah. uh, stifling of free because speech. Because you shouldn't have to take all of this to travel stuff. and things like that. And it's, especially, it's too, if you've had the vaccine, coercion. what are you worried about? You know what I mean? Like None you know, of it makes any sense. No. See, this is, what, this is how you know you're in the middle of an operation. Because none of it makes sense. The ridiculous masks make yeah. no sense on any level, logically. None of it makes any sense. No, no, no. You know? These right. masks that people wear for a month yeah. or two, yeah. these should be toxic waste. Yeah. There should be choppers flying in to remove them and drop them in nuclear reactors. And also because the masks, for God's um, I mean, if it was just, real. It, I mean, obviously, you know, you're in open air up here, and I mean, I'm in open air where I live, and if I wear a mask, it's only for 
two or three minutes a day when I pop into a supermarket, you know. And I know smaller stores don't tend to bother. They're like, whatever, you know. But like, um, you but know. it's the symbolism of it. Of course. It. It's and symbolism. it's also the symbolism you're of... Now, it's like you're a now gag. Accepting. Exactly. It you're looks now, like a gag. Exactly. You're mm. now accepting and signaling your servitude. You have yep. accepted that you are a slave. Yep. You know, and you are signaling that to the rest of the population. Oh, it's very disturbing. It's diabolic. It's a cult. Right. It's an occult ritual. Well, really we're, heading, we're heading into the end of our time limit, David. Shutting me down again. Censoring me. I was about to we're ramble got, for hours. Mark Zuckerberg rang just before. And he said, you, you can't <laughs> let that... the line. You can't let that oh, David Trussell Mount talk too much. Line. And yes. I said, yes, Master. And, uh, you know, another call for Jack Dorsey. They insisted. This uh -huh. talk can't go for too long, David. Uh, I'm going to cut yeah. you off, mate. We'll be back. We'll be Foiled back. again. We'll be back after January 20, maybe sometime in February, where apparently the maybe. vaccine will begin to uh, be distributed. I'm sure David will be first in line to get that. Not. Not. And I don't think I will be. Let's just see what happens as the saying goes. I'm going to at least leave it for three or four months, see what happens. And uh, that's it for the report from Tiger Mountain. Three chats with David Thrussell. I'd like to thank Huxley for shooting it. And I'd like to thank David Thrussell for uh, talking with me today. Put it there, mate. We love these chats, and I hope you enjoy them too. Enjoy the your time in the camps. That's it. Report from Tiger Mountain, coming soon.